So if something feels wrong, sometimes it is. Sometimes it could be good that maybe I misunderstood something because they reported a bit differently from us. But yeah, yeah. But that's that's an interesting. Uh, I mean, point you raise is not to just read it and and um, go with the storyline provided by the the writer. What I hear you say is to first develop, take some time to develop a little bit of gut uh, feeling or, or let's say engineering judgment of of the yeah. system. And then have that challenged by the report, basically. I think that's that's a very interesting approach. I really like it when the report doesn't concur with what I think is going to happen, because then you yeah, shall learn okay. something new. Or the report was wrong. It's usually one out of two, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. It's, so what what are typical questions you would ask to challenge the writer then, uh, if if there is a mismatch with your gut feeling, for example, and and what you read in the report? I would just start open open questions. Maybe there's not too much details about the spring hangers, for example. I, I might ask them, okay, uh, how did you evaluate the spring hangers? Just start like a very open question and then you see how they respond. And it's like might be mumbling and, and a little bit evasive and so on. Then you understand, okay, here we need to dig a lot deeper. If they come up with a great exp explanation right away, then you understand, okay, this person knows what he's doing.